Hey everybody, I'm JJ and had somebody ask for a shop tour the other day. Not much of a tour because it's only a, what is it, a 28 by 40 shop. But I'll go ahead and just kind of take you around and kind of show you real quick what we've got. Here's the side door starting at the front. Um, this is kind of where I've got, and, and it's kind of, a, everything's kind of a mess. So you're just going to have to kind of deal with that. This is sort of my metal, you know, welding and cutting station. Uh, I've also got a uh, creeper, step stool, uh, shovel for cleaning stuff up. Then uh, waste oil can. You can pick these oil cans up at uh, like, like Jiffy Lube or whatever. And then what I do is I just drill a bunch of holes on the top of it. And that way when I, when I get waste oil from oil changes, then I just let it drip into there. Now you can use that waste oil for lots of different things. One of the things in particular that I'm saving it for is for treating wood posts. You do like a 50-50 mix with diesel fuel and, and used motor oil, and you soak the posts, you know, the three or four, bottom three or four feet in, in that oil, uh, I guess just for a couple of days, I'm not sure. And then you put it in the ground, and it's basically like it's a treated post. So I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, this is just a little winch thing that I made back here for when we moved and we had to get the, the project truck up on the trailer and everything. Um, got a uh, DeWalt blower, uh, leaf blower, good for cleaning out the shop and stuff, but not quite powerful enough for doing a big yard with lots of leaves. We have another solution for that. Uh, this is kind of like my chemical... <laughs> Uh, cabinet where I keep a lot of chemicals and all that kind of stuff just oils and lubricants and paints and you know all that jazz um, nothing really too special over here uh, I keep a lot of extension cords and stuff there and we've got the power panel and then here I've got uh, I've got a pull saw up there, this is the this is the leaf blower, dude. This thing is amazing, amazing, amazing. I love it. Same thing with the saw, excellent saw. That's my backup air compressor. Um, I do I did this recently. These are the uh, the iron iron ton um, hose reels. They're the heavy duty ones, and I think they're like 40 feet. And then they've got a a triple plug on them. I really like these. These are really those are really handy and they kind of help keep things uh, kind of squared away. Um, ballast box. I need to fill that up still for the tractor. Right now it's just holding scrap wood. That's my diesel tank uh, for you know filling the tractor up and stuff. This is a, a what is it a five eighths uh, forestry rope, which is really good for um, pulling down trees and stuff. It is so strong that I can pull with my tractor in four wheel drive in just moderately moist soil. So it's getting like max traction against a tree and it won't break that rope. It's pretty awesome. Um, just got some other tools that we use and stuff like that hanging there. Uh, here, this is sort of my miscellaneous catch all box. I put wheels on these and what I do is I use these for workbenches. So I roll them out whenever I need to work on something and use those as a workbench. This is uh, my other box and this has got a lot of kind of uh, forestry and wood cutting kind of stuff in it. Um, just, you know, there's a, a DeWalt little chainsaw for trimming little stuff. That's not a serious forestry tool, but it's good for if you're up high. Uh, kind of need to use something one-handed or if you're just trimming, you know, little little branches and stuff like that down low. Got another um, gas tank back there that's for unleaded. This, this little, um, oops, I didn't get locking wheels and I should have on, uh, on the cart. So that would be one thing I would do different next time. And I might switch those out. This little thing here is super handy. Um, it is a scaffolding by Wynn, and uh, I use it as a workbench because I can uh, raise it up tall enough, you know, and, and put stuff on it. I also record from it and everything like that sometimes. Um, but obviously, it can be used. What I actually bought it for was when I was painting the ceiling in here, 
and uh, needed to kind of get up high and it's on rollers. And so it works out really well. I use it all the time just as a, as a movable place that, you know, I can adjust the height and all that on it. Uh, back there, I've got some ammo and all that kind of stuff. I've, that's just some of the stuff. I've got some other stuff in other locations too. Um, and when well, we got, oh, that's just extra lights and stuff that I need to put in the other room. This is a big box, um, big toolbox. Um, when I was working, um, when I was doing mechanics and stuff like that back, you know, in the, in the early nineties, a box like this would probably have cost five or $6,000 with roller bearings and all that kind of stuff. I ended up getting these two boxes plus the side boxes for $1,500. So it was a ridiculous deal. Um, got them from Harbor Freight. They had a 20% off coupon. Then I had, uh, there was a little damage on a corner. So they gave me another 10% off. And I don't remember what else it was. It was something else, but um, just a really good toolbox. I mean, I understand that there are better toolboxes out there. Um, the one thing I don't like about the U.S. General is that you, they have a lock over here on the side where you have to, you have to like click the lock to open the drawer. And it, it's annoying if you've got something in your hands to have to click that one side. However, they make a, a separate line where you can just lift the, where you can like lift the handle. And that's pretty cool. Um, so if you were going to get a box from them look for that feature i would say but they're good boxes this is the yukon box uh i only paid a couple hundred dollars for it too but i don't like it i don't i don't like it because the drawers don't have any sort of lock on them they are roller bearing but they don't really have any kind of a of a, a self-locking mechanism this is a little cart that i use just to hold project stuff um you know, just around the shop and whatnot. I got it from Northern Tool. That still weed eater is an amazing machine, especially when combined with the forestry or forester saw blade on it. Got a little, uh, another U.S. General box here. It's their automotive cart. I love that thing. It works really well. Um, what do we got over here? Just some radios and stuff like that down at the bottom. Um, miscellaneous electronic stuff, battery testers, just, you know, kind of some, some kind of miscellaneous garbage, extra paint, stuff like that, that I got left over. Here's my engine puller and, uh, engine stand. And then we've got a little TV, little mini fridge, radio, Wi-Fi, um, DeWalt charger. If, if you don't, if you've never used these, these nine amp hour batteries, they are heavy. But man, they last. They're really, really worth it. Uh, this portion of the shop, I haven't gotten all really done yet on what I'm going to do with everything. Um, I was thinking about putting these things up to, to help deaden the sound so it wouldn't be so echoey and do like an alternating pattern up high. I'm just not sure if I want to yet, though, because they get kind of kind of grimy looking with dust and everything. So still working that out. Here's my chainsaw sharpening uh, section. Got a little uh, Oregon chainsaw sharpener. If you do a lot of cutting, I highly recommend getting one of these. Totally worth it, in my opinion. Got a little parts washer down there. These little mobile cans also make great little trash cans. Um, you can, like I said, they're like five bucks each, so you, you can get them from, uh, you know, like, like Jiffy Lubes and stuff like that. And they're like, they're five, like five bucks. Oh, uh, back here we got the table saw and pressure washer. Those um, I, I like so far. Um, I've never really found a pressure washer that I really really like, but this has the Honda motor on it. It's not too bad. It's a it's a Craftsman, and this is the um, the rigid uh, chain or uh, table saw that's foldable from Home Depot, and it's pretty good too. Pretty good. Then that big box is a, I don't remember what came in it, but it was all steel. And I was like, dude, that's a, that's a lot of awesome steel. So I'm going to save that. So I don't know what I'm going to make out of that yet, but I'm going to make something out of it. Um, air or sprayer, paint sprayers and stuff down there. Uh, got a propane heater for the shop. 
This is a really sweet uh, LED light that I'm gonna put. It, it was like a road, one from a road. Um, let me see if I can show it to you. A buddy of mine gave it to me and it's gonna go, it is going to go up on um, my firewood shed. These are some Sterilite containers. I'm gonna do a mealworm farm out of those. <laughs> this is what I call the hardware store. Uh, basically, what I did is I ordered um, one of these kits off of Amazon and it's got just a, a huge variety of nuts and bolts. And let me tell you what, it is so worth it to have that. Just in gas alone, I have saved the money that it cost. It was only like 300 bucks and I've used so many different things from it, but the, get, the, the trips, the number of trips that it has saved me from going back and forth to Lowe's is definitely already over $300. Um, also just got some, you know, little, little pins and connectors and screws and that kind of stuff. And that's the same thing with in these drawers, you know, just try to save up as much as I can whenever I get projects. This is a mess. <laughs> whenever I get projects and stuff, uh, whenever I do projects, I try to buy more than I need. That way I'll have some kind of to stock up on hand. This container is actually an extra one because the one that they initially sent me was all bent up and they sent me a second one. And so I just use that for like miscellaneous stuff. This is a little wire spool rack. Um, I'm going to be doing a review on this gas can here pretty soon. It's a, it's a sweet can. Um, having some good wire on hand is pretty, uh, pretty useful because we're always doing little projects where we need stuff like that. Got some of the two strands, some disutility wire, and then we got some 550 cord, and then just some um, copper coated aluminum wire. Copper, straight copper wire is too expensive. <laughs> um, got a little grinding station here with a little uh, Harbor Freight kind of uh, all in one sander, kind of does the, the side wheel thing as well. And let's see, that's pretty much it. A couple of fire extinguishers. Oh, another. Uh, Another extension cord reel, and then for the air compressor that powers the shop, we've got we've got uh, um, half inch hose and on reels. Got one there, and then I've got one back in the back corner over here, right back there. And then I'll show you the air compressor that I went with. Uh, I, I think this air compressor is probably the best value for the money overall in the bigger 60 to 80 gallon tanks um, it is the quincy it's the quincy air compressor and that's sort of the breathes life into everything 60 gallon tank and, and if i remember correctly the uh engine life guarantee was like 30,000 hours, whereas the DeWalt one was like 8,000 hours. So I went ahead and went with that. It's a dual phase, you know, um, uh, air compressor. It's got regulator and dryer and all that. And I've also got regulators at each hose reel as well. This is still a mess. It's a, like a 10 or 12 by 30 uh, lean-to. Just got a bunch of garbage in it right now. I've got to take it all out and get it all squared away and, and organized and all that kind of stuff. So that is the shop tour. Um, just kind of real down and dirty. That's what we've got. I really, I really need to build another, at least another 30 by 40 uh, building just to, so I don't have to have, you know, uh, tracker implements and, stuff like that sitting outside and trailers and all that kind of jazz, but I just can't fit everything in here. Um, I fit the tractor in okay. <laughs> and I can still pull a truck in, you know, like if it hails or whatever, I can get my truck out uh, of the hail. But uh, as far as the RK55 goes, we are at 100 hours now. And uh, so I'll probably be doing a review on that uh, pretty quick as well. I am very happy with this and very happy with their customer service because I had one issue and they really took care of it uh, under warranty very well. So anyway, guys, uh, that is that for what it's worth.
Uh, if you have any questions or any suggestions on how to make things better, let me know. I am planning on doing another row of shelves up top, and I think I'm going to do a uh, cross-cut uh, saw bench over here somewhere, maybe a little higher. I'm not not 100% sure on that yet, but I'm gonna. I'm still still got a few things to do with it. But any suggestions you have, I'd love to see them. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to live six Ps. Proper prior preparation prevents poor performance. Stay safe, guys.